baby. This one's going to be spicy. Today, I'm poking fun at the fan bases of every single Premier League club. Don't worry, I'm not pulling any punches. Even my Ipswich Town fandom isn't safe. So let's dive in and see what your choice in football club says about you. Let's start with AFC Bournemouth. Did you know they added AFC just to be at the top of the phone book? That's pretty fucking desperate, but hey, it worked. Props for beating Arsenal and City. But let's be honest, you're here to survive, not thrive. Arsenal, you're the old man yelling at the clouds, forever clinging to the Invincibles like it's still 2004. Year after year, you play like champions, until you don't. Don't worry though, you'll always have those Wenger years to look back on, right? Aston Villa, you're that guy that finally lands a spot at the cool kids table, but immediately spills your drink. Sure, you've got some standout talent, but it feels like you're still figuring out how to handle the pressure of being a top of the table club. Brentford, you're the analytics nerd everyone underestimated, but now you're punching above your weight. Brentford is like a secret weapon, smart, scrappy, and somehow always dangerous. Just try not to turn into a full-on football version of Moneyball. Brighton, you're the talent factory of the league. Every summer, you lose your best players to bigger clubs for ridiculous fees. But instead of collapsing, you just keep finding hidden gems. Brighton fans must feel like proud parents watching their kids get poached by the Chelsea's every year. Speaking of Chelsea, Chelsea, you're the awkward rich guy at the bar throwing money around, but no one really likes you. It's like you're trying to collect footballers like Pokemon cards, but even with a billion spent, you still can't compete for a top four spot. Maybe a trophy? No? Okay. Crystal Palace, you're like medieval serfs, growing the best crops only for bigger clubs to steal them. Every summer it's buy Elise or buy Zaha, but hey, at least Sellers Park has the best atmosphere in the league. Everton. You're the guy who spends all of his money on doomed business ventures. Seriously, how are you this bad with all that cash? Relegation is tapping on your shoulder, and you're just pretending like it's not there. Fulham, you're the yappy little dog of the league. Gritty, scrappy, and sometimes really tough. But deep down, no one is actually afraid of you. Leicester City, you're like the guy who won the high school championship and won't stop talking about it, even though it's been years. Sure, that 2016 Premier League title was magical, but it's time to move on. You're 40 now. Nobody cares anymore. Okay, fuck it. I can't pretend any longer. I still care. Liverpool, you're the eternal second best. Even when you're great, someone else swoops in and outshines you. You'll always be that guy who works hard, but lets his more handsome friend steal the glory. Manchester City, you're new money, plain and simple. Odds are you only started following City after 2012, and let's face it, the second the oil money dries up, you're jumping ship faster than your squad racks up charges from UEFA. Manchester United, you peaked in high school and can't stop talking about it. Sure, you've got a history, but these days your club feels more like a soap opera than a football club. Lissandro Martinez fouled me just for writing this. Newcastle United, you're the new kid trying too hard to impress. Sure, you've got the cash now, but maybe spend it wisely instead of just throwing money at shiny things. It's a marathon, not a sprint. Nottingham Forest, you're the definition of passion. Everyone writes you off, but you willed your way to survival. Maybe try sticking to the rules and you won't be so close to relegation. Although I am glad you're top three right now. It makes me super happy. Southampton, you're the punching bag, plain and simple. It's tough out there, and you're doing your best, but it's starting to look like you're cooked. Tottenham Hotspur. Spursy isn't just a word. It's a way of life. You're so close to glory, only to bottle it every single time. But hey, you still get a participation trophy for trying, right? West Ham United. You've got quite the forgettable face. For a club that had a major role in a hit TV show in America, Ted Lasso anyone? You'd think you'd have more recognizability, but nah. Even with that Europa Conference League trophy, people still go, oh yeah, West Ham, they exist, don't they? Wolverhampton Wanderers, you're the kid getting picked on on the playground. Most of us feel bad for you, but we're not stepping in to stop Chelsea or even Brentford from taking your lunch money. Ipswich Town, and finally, my club. We're like the girls on the casting couch with the referees standing smugly behind the camera. 
At least we've got Ed Sheeran handling our balls. There you have it. If you're mad about what I said, that's fair. I just described most of your clubs better than they play on the pitch. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got to go pray for Ipswich to stay in the Premier League. Odds are this video won't blow up, so hopefully not too many of you are offended. I don't care either way.